Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, here we got, uh, this is a free truck that I just found the other day. I'll put a link in the video if you want to check it out. It's an auto car AT. And uh, it's been, this is an old XBS mod that they gave up on a long time ago, I guess. And uh, the hat, hat for you or hater or whatever, the guy who does the hater built and uh, he does the uh, FLC um, Freightliner, uh, he's got this uh, fixed up and working in 145, and uh, yeah, it's got a cool truck. Now, looks cool with the old school paint job on it. I, I did this the other day before I found out about um, the root of W900 update and having to get after a skin for that right away to, I guess I got to do a bunch more of those, but anyway, there's a bummer, and the bummer is, ah, the script comes out backwards on the other side of the truck. And I, in the uh, template, I put no script on the passenger side. It just runs right through the template to the other side. So what you put on this side appears on this side. And if I draw, uh, put some script on this side of the truck, it, it just doesn't appear. So there's something hanky with that so i guess one of the things i'm trying to do with blender is learn how to uh, make templates for trucks and maybe i could maybe make a new template or try it or do something with it get this to work anyway long story short we got some hanky stuff going on there but we won't let that spoil the fun will we i got the 3406 in here which is sort of fitting I think and uh, it's a cool cool mod there's a it's not 100% ready for 145 as we'll see when we get inside oh here let's hop in and see what the uh, animations are like in here so the trailer brake let's see yeah the truck brake signals key key works uh, lights. Uh, I'm not seeing a light switch. Maybe I'm just missing it. Uh, there's a high and low beam. Oh, that's weird. It's a switch on the dash. What about the uh, Jake? Got a light and a switch for the Jake. Um, diff lock. Yeah. Well, it's got lots of animations. Pretty good for a free truck. Um, and it's neat. I like these old trucks. I remember seeing a, a lot of these when I was younger. The mirrors are goofy too. If you can see, depending on the lighting direction, the mirrors look really bad. A room for improvement, that's for sure. But the dash is great. I really like the dash. I like the lighting. Uh, the instrumentation looks like the oil pressure gauge works uh, let's see what else we got brake pressure or line pressure that's cool I don't I don't think there's a manifold pressure gauge now uh, this loads really heavy um, uh, I think it's Oh, well, was it 150,000 pounds or so? Yards, turn right. Turn right. This will be a cool trip because uh, I haven't, haven't done this one in a little while. We're going to uh, far. We're in. Um, where the heck are we? St. George, Utah. They were heading for. Uh, Farmington, New Mexico. So I've been over in this. After 50 yards, turn left. I haven't been doing much driving around in this part of the world lately, so. Turn left. Oh, we're gonna run a orange here. So 
election year. Exit right ahead. This is one of those wacky intersections. Okay, we got one of those, those here in town. Well, at least one anyway. lane right away. See, the mirror's not too bad in this light. And the uh, GPS is awful dim. Okay, I can't tell what that GPS is telling us is going to happen here. Come on, Lori. Spill the beans for us here. I didn't do the seats on this thing. Yeah, this driving position is pretty goofy. Uh, hold on, we're going to pause for a sec. Uh, I'll do it at this light. Oh boy, this load's heavy. We got a lot of weight on. Be right back, guys. I don't know, it's just, it just seems kind of the, the view is sort of weird with that, uh, see how the view distorts when I move my head with the, look at the uh, little pillar here for the vent window, here it's leaning forward quite a bit, and I can't put the seat any lower, so I don't know, it's what it is, see the windows, yeah they go down, and the animated, yep. That's cool. Yeah, it'd be cool if somebody took this truck and went the rest of the way with it. Is that an old Ferrari or something? Huh. Wonder. I don't know about that ridge down the trunk lid. Any old Ferraris had that. That's, they were usually pretty smooth. Yeah, look at it here. Yeah, it's supposed to be a Ferrari, it looks like. Huh. Oh, 
here comes a good climb up this hill. I was looking to get an even heavier load than this one. So I have my uh, big gun motor in here. We're probably going to need it on this hill. Back down the hill from here, we'll try and stay on the road. See the highway carrying on down there, leaving town? I don't think he can drive on that though. So, yeah, speaking of blender, uh, to fix templates would also be really nice to learn to use it to fix things like uh, that mirror, like the, uh, the fisheye mirror there. It's the same as on, uh, on Overfloaters K100, where that mirror has got very plain polygonal polygonal shape or whatever it's not round it'd uh, be nice to fix things like that you know and maybe spruce up some of these older trucks I'd really like to take some of the old KSW trucks and fix the chrome on them man that bugs me bugs me it's one of my biggest pet peeves you know, I hate to knock you know, Shadow Walker because, I mean, he did some good mods and everything. That 352 is pretty cool. But I just, it's a pet peeve of mine that you can still pay money right. for those old trucks. And they have terrible chrome. It just looks like gray paint. And then you look at, and he charges $35 a truck. And I look at John Ruda's trucks and he charges $25. And they're epic. And the updates, look at what we just got on the W900. I bought that truck like a year and a half ago. And it's had two, maybe three up, three updates since then. My $25 is going a long way. I don't, you know, my $35 for KSW Diamond Rio Giant has gone nowhere. The truck has not seen an update. It probably wasn't really ready for the game version I brought it into a year ago. It's certainly not ready for 145, so just a pet peeve of mine. Keep left. After 15 yards, turn left. It's a cool little level. Uh, That was a cool little creek there. All right, I get this jig turned off here. Oh, got my signal on. Yeah, a lot can be done with this truck, that's for sure. It kind of lends itself to the old school paint job with the little kick-ups on, uh, on the sleeper. What I should do is, whoops, that upper kick up right there where the white goes to red at the top of the sleeper, I should move that back. That's what I should do. Yeah, I gotta figure this thing out. This, this skin. 
But I guess before I do that, spend any more time on this, I've got to, uh, I got to do this old school skin for the W900 uh, Rudus, and I got to probably the Alper. Well, how many skins do I have for it? Quite a few. I'll have to do the uh, Alberta Heavy Haul is a really popular skin on that truck. Old school, of course. Uh, like this old school, the original red and white one. This is a pretty cool trip through here. And uh, I think I was playing this game for about six months before I found this. And uh, it's like one of those things, you know, why didn't I come here sooner? Right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Once again, I believe this is where we are. It's not on the map. No. This lighting angle, you can see how washed out the mirror is. Almost useless. Yeah. There's an LTL the other way. Grand Canyon over where those balloons are, or what the game represents is the Grand Canyon. Canyon Dam. I wonder if that, maybe that's what this is supposed to be, not the Grand Canyon. Oh. Who knew? Welcome to Arizona. Can't see anything in my mirror. Oh, there we go. Had that uh, message right in the way of it.
is always a good place for a screenshot. Oh, man. Now oh, that thing's in the way. Get out of there. There we go. <laughs> we got that on this side of the truck where uh, the writing isn't all messed After up. Yards, turn left. The script. That really awkward uh, Liber or uh, HMS site is right around the corner here, right there in the right. Because this, the way this corner is, if you're coming from the other direction, After 100 yards, turn left. it's really hard to get an angle into that yard with the long trailer. Turn left. Bear that in mind if you're heading that way. I don't think I've got the trailer stability stiffened up on this uh, profile. Remember to do it on one of the other ones. Probably the Rue de Peterbilt one. That's something a little tippy, but it is really heavy. around this corner. I saw I, I gotta get inside. <laughs> I'm outside and I see that trailer, that load starting to lean. It always freaks me out. I uh, I steer wide to end up running into vehicles or the guardrail. at the intersection fairly soon here. Maybe I got that... Uh, I guess it isn't as soon as I thought it was. Pretty sure we're going to have to go up here and hang a left somewhere. Man, I got her pinned. It must be... Uh, so climbing pretty good. This engine should be able to... Well, let's see, I got 370 gears in it. But I did that uh, test that uh, I think it's... Maybe I put it in the tutorial, so I don't remember. I'll have to look. I did a uh, gear ratio, final drive ratio test to see if the game calculated the final drive ratio in any way other than the, fi the uh, engine RPM uh, in you know, final gear and it did I don't think it made any difference really which is weird because you know, it would be pretty easy to calculate in you'd think
I wouldn't do that in real life, what I just did there, where I, uh, I put, or I wouldn't anyway, I put the, uh, I put the clutch in and put it down to, uh, one high, I think it was, while the thing was still moving, while the truck was rolling. Uh, in, in real life, I just would have worked my way all the way down to that gear without the clutch. So that was a little unrealistic. If it's a red light and I know I gotta stop for a while, uh, I would just bump it into neutral and just use the brakes for that last little bit. And then just use the clutch when you gotta put it in gear to drive off. it's a stop sign, I generally just work it down the gears and get going as slow as I think I need to to avoid a ticket. <laughs> if my eagle eye hasn't spotted any police, I'll, uh, I'll roll it. And if there's, you can't tell, there's too many vehicles around and you have no idea if you're going to get nailed or not, you just stop. gonna change yep Go straight. put the windows down we'll listen to this as we drive off. I guess while we're waiting, I get a quick look at the map, see what we're doing here. Oh, we got a lot of straight ahead of us. <laughs> Speaking of rolling lights in the law, there they are. they rolling stop signs. I like that trailer with that, uh, all that stuff going on. The darn AI slows down to 35 miles an hour when we just got going. Uh, it drives me nuts. And they'll do it when you're going from a two lane to a four lane. Uh, what can you do? This is pretty neat through here at this big valley. Just imagine the river that was gushing through here a long, long time ago. I'm not sure how I got this little tree's air freshener in here. I don't remember selecting that. It's kind of weird. Well, I'm going to be hiding my own Easter eggs next thing you know.
Oh yeah, this is a cool little valley coming up here. I remember coming the other way a whole bunch of times. I was doing um, the first final drive test I did. But I, uh, I put a heavy load on over and over and I came from uh, Farmington and headed to Page the opposite direction. And uh, had to come up past that scale. There's this neat little valley up here that you come through. But that was kind of a goofy way to do the test because um, it's too far. So I ended up doing it with the Aussie, uh, those Aussie side tipper road train. Uh, let's see, what did I do there? I think I used the Viper as a truck. And I think I had that thing loaded up with about 300 some thousand pounds, maybe 388,000. I turned traffic off and um, traffic off and I went up the hill at Pendleton going eastbound. I'd get to the top and then I'd fly. Oh, that was the tire test. That wasn't a final drive test. I did that with the tire test for dry, for dry traction. I got a video on that too, but I'm not sure if it's in, uh, maybe I should put in tutorials so it's easy to find. I did the, I put the, uh, wet weather tire traction test in tutorials to make it easy to find. I got my uh, Jake on, there we go, yeah. But yeah, this is the little valley back there we just went through, I forgot to have a look. have this truck tied down at the back would pass muster. I could want that cross change somehow. After 100 yards, and turn left. That bucket is a movable part. How name farms or something. Hmm. So these wheels on the truck, if you're interested, that's the Ratro Developments, and that's their uh, Alcoa Oval ones on the uh, Alt. Two's on the front and one's on the back. The uh, ones have that really big uh, hole in them. And I'm not really a big fan of that on the front. I think it looks a little spindly. But it looks nice on the back. No, uh, not real far away from Farmington now. See, there's one where SCS kind of cut. I think the, that river bank there doesn't look so good. Oh, yikes. They're gonna squash that bug. <laughs> I like the way we gotta get back up to, oh, darn. Well, we're just going to go through it. That was bad driving on my part. I like the way um, the fellow who did the Alaska map did the river banks up there. They're pretty good. Well, I 
guess I'll get this. Uh, this is Sunday. Uh, when I'm filming this. I'm going to uh, have to uh, start rendering this video and then jump on my other PC and start working on more W900 skins. Update a few more of them. Lights look like they're pretty decent on this truck. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be lots of light on those. <laughs> Is that Volkswagen? It's <laughs> right on my butt. Uh-oh. Watch yourself. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm going to have to do the uphill start thing with the parking brake here. Yeah, give me a sec. Turn right. That didn't sound much like a Volkswagen horn. Yeah, that's the other thing I meant to do this morning uh, when I was choosing this motor for this truck. I was going to go and look at that torque curve and see if I could do anything about it. I'm sure you can. But uh, give it a little more oomph off the line because this thing has zero torque off the line. Yeah, the mirrors are almost useless now. It's dark out. That's a bummer. I have to get in here or outside. Go straight. if I can see the dash map. Oh yeah, it's showing up good now. Not sure which side of the road to be on here. I can't see in that mirror. I'll take a chance and go over here. Can't remember if the BHP site is all the way through town here. And a right at the end of town. Now this Farmington is... Uh oh. After 50 yards, turn left. Oh, I thought it was going to BHP. I'm going to leave there. Well, fortunately that lane is blocked off. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's not going to be for long. Better stick my front wheel in here. Keep anybody from coming up my inside. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. from in the yard. I'll give it a go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Maybe the 
yards long enough. I can't remember. This trailer isn't overly long. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it's the the 16 wheeler again. And uh, like what I like about this trailer is it's, it reminds me of trailers I used to see an awful lot when I was a kid. And uh, it sort of seems fitting for this old truck. It's like something you would have ex you'd expect to see pulling it. This old auto car. Uh oh. I get turned soon enough. Oh, we're gonna hit it. Oh, that's. Oh, I'm going right through the neck of that trailer with the load. Oh, that was weird. Well, let's see if you can't do better than that. tight. The, uh, the beacons are nice on this truck. Those are really good beacons. Very realistic. There's lots of good stuff with this truck. It's uh, just a shame about the mirrors and uh, this painting problem. Oh, there we go. We'll look at the good side of the truck <laughs> to end this off. <laughs> Just thinking, uh, when I used to work in IT, after I was trucking, I uh, started out, you know, doing the technical stuff like, you know, fixing, repairing laptops and things like that and computers and whatever. And uh, at my desk in our little IT office, I had uh, a sign above it and it said, uh, you know, you got all this stuff you're fixing all the time. It said Dan's rock pile, <laughs> like my purgatory, my, lot, my uh, rock pile. And that's I was just thinking going back to the rock pile because I gotta. Now that I had fun doing my drive for the day, I gotta go get to work on skins. So, back to it. Pot of coffee and get after it. Anyway, thanks guys for following along. Uh, thanks for your subscriptions and your uh, viewership. It's really great. And uh, to you new subscribers, welcome. And uh, hope you enjoy your time here. Take care, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.